Hi everyone, my name is Mandy McLean. I'm a PhD student in the STEM education department. My background is in engineering and I'm also a former high school teacher. So the title of my talk today is Freshmen and Flash Mobs. This is, base, this is um, presenting my research based around a partnership program between a first year engineering design class and an after school elementary program with fifth and sixth grade students. And the goal of the program is for the students to come together to design and build robots that ultimately dance in a flash mob. <laughs> All right, so a quick overview of my presentation today. I'll start out with a description of the program. Uh, we'll look a little bit at the theoretical framework and my research questions driving the work. We'll touch on some of my findings from this pilot study and then go into some conclusions and recommendations for engineering education at the undergraduate level. All right, so as I mentioned, this program is based around a partnership between a first year mechanical engineering design class and an after school program with fifth and sixth grade students. So I'm interested in the benefits of this collaboration on both groups of students, um, but for time limitations today, we're gonna focus on the benefits of the program for the undergraduates. Uh, so in this pilot study, which was run last year, uh, we had 80 undergraduates enrolled in the freshman class and we had 40 fifth and sixth grade students enrolled in the after school program. So the drive behind designing and implementing this undergraduate class was to create a class that's more inclusive in the engineering department, specifically for freshman engineering students. Uh, engineering is one of the most homogenous of all undergraduate disciplines. Uh, this pilot study focused exclusively on gender, uh, but the second iteration, which is currently underway, is also looking at the impacts of the course uh, across race and ethnicity. So we followed four strategies for creating an inclusive class in this program. So the first of that is project-based learning. The class is designed for the undergraduates to create a robot. They design and build a robot from scratch. And the entire class focuses around ensuring that the undergraduates have the foundational skills and knowledge required to successfully complete that project. Um, the second is collaboration. The, the class is highly collaborative. There's actually like three tiers of collaboration. So the undergraduate students come together in peer groups of four to five to create their robot. And then each undergraduate group is paired with a group of students at the elementary school, and they also work together on the same robot. And then finally, the ultimate project is for the robots to come together and collaboratively dance, which is unique in that most robotic projects center around competition. Uh, the third uh, inclusive strategy comes into play when we introduce the elementary students. So the elementary students have two roles in this, pro in this project. So the first role is that they serve as the customer to the undergraduates. So the elementary students get to come up with the design idea for the robot and they choose the dance move. So this year, uh, unicorns were particularly popular. We had a number of unicorns. Um, but in addition to being the customer, oh, before I move on actually. So the elementary students dictate what the robot will do, and the undergraduates have to adhere to the specifications set forth by the elementary students in order to successfully complete the project. So the elementary students, in addition to being the customer, also get to interact directly with the undergraduates, and in that sense, the undergraduates serve as role models to the elementary students, and they're, they're prepped to know that they're going into this role. Um, so this introduces a service learning component to the course. While designing and building this robot, the undergraduates are also giving back to their community. All right, so in analyzing this data that we collected, um, I used expectancy value theory as my theoretical framework. So in the context of engineering, expectancy value theory posits that the values one holds for engineering and one, together with one's competence beliefs for their skills in engineering, uh, can predict how likely one is to engage and persist in engineering, as well as how well one will perform in that field. All right, so specifically the value construct is broken down into three subconstructs. Intrinsic value looks at how much interest one has in engineering. Utility value is how useful they find those skills for their life. Attainment value is how much one identifies as an engineer. And competence beliefs looks at how well one expects to perform in engineering in the present and in the future. 
So my research question asks, which parameters of this course support the development of students' values and competence beliefs in engineering? And to answer this question, we gave open-ended questionnaires to all of the undergraduates at the end of the course, inquiring about what they liked about the program, what they didn't like, how they felt about their interactions with elementary students. And we deductively coded the data looking for evidence of mentions related to any of these values or belief constructs, as well as mentions related to specific aspects of the course. And we looked at for the interaction between the two sets of codes. Um, so we found that the majority of students highly valued their experience in this course. And most students explicitly noted that the experience with this course increased their confidence in their engineering beliefs. So we'll look specifically at a few of these findings. We don't have time to go through all of them right now. So first, looking at the change in competence beliefs as a result of the project-based learning component of this course. All right, so over two-thirds of students explicitly stated that this class increased their competence beliefs in engineering. And a theme that emerged is that students surprised themselves by their ability to successfully design and build a robot from scratch. And this newfound knowledge is what increased their confidence. Findings were relatively consistent across gender. Um, so here I've pulled a couple example quotes. Uh, so Ingrid stated, I was nervous that I hadn't really had any engineering qualifications other than physics and math classes. Now that I have actually made something and completely understand every component of it, I am confident in my engineering capabilities and look forward to similar classes. And then a quote we see here from Fred, in my opinion, really highlights the need for creating more inclusive classes, specifically in freshman engineering, where a lot of these students are going through more leader type classes that are really designed to push you out rather than make you feel competent in yourself. So Fred explained, I do feel less, competent, or less confident after this school year, but not because of this course. I feel like I'm doing fine in this course. In all honesty, this class boosted my confidence because I realized that everything I've learned from elementary school up until the end of high school actually gave me a lot of the necessary skills I need to be a successful engineer. All right, so secondly, we'll look at some findings related to the intrinsic value derived from the course, uh, specifically from the aspects of the course where the undergraduates interact with the elementary students. So looking at the service learning component, um, over one third of students explicitly stated in their responses that they uh, enjoyed this class because of the service learning component. Similarly, over a third mentioned the same around the customer-oriented design parameter of the course. Again, findings were relatively consistent across gender. Um, so to pull a couple quotes here, Dahlia explained, I liked being able to make a robot for a kid who may potentially be influenced to follow a career path in the STEM field. Their creative imagination also allowed us to build something fun. And then relate it to the customer-oriented design parameter, Arthur explained, I liked having to accommodate to a customer's design, not based on my design and ideas. It pushed my limits and stopped me from cutting corners. It expanded my horizon of thinking. Um, so to conclude, uh, the data from this pilot study showed that the majority of the undergraduates did highly value this course and it helped increase their competence beliefs related to engineering. Base, oh, positive impacts were also found to be consistent across gender. And then based on research and expectancy value theory, this highlights the potential for this sort of course to reduce attrition by increasing student engagement and persistence in engineering. And this is a finding that we're looking at uh, in more detail in the second iteration through more data collection, and we'll test this hypothesis. Um, so I would like to conclude ultimately with some recommendations. And I do recommend that more freshman engineering courses consider partnering with local elementary schools. And there's three reasons why I recommend that. The first is that it provides the undergraduates with authentic engineering experiences. I didn't have time to pull a lot of quotes here, um, but many of the students talked about how designing for a customer made them feel like real engineers. And while in senior year, in capstone projects, courses often partner with industry, 
that's very difficult to do in a freshman course because the freshman engineers don't have a lot of skills yet that they can offer industry. But by partnering with elementary students, these elementary students see these undergraduates as real engineers. So they still get that experience. Secondly, it connects them with their communities. And in talking to some of the undergraduates in the class in this year, um, I asked them about volunteer work and things like that. And a lot of them expressed that they would love to volunteer more, but they just don't have time. So this is a nice way to integrate it into the class so they still get that experience. And then finally, it also benefits the elementary students. So it's really a win-win for both groups. Um, and that's something else that we're looking at in a lot more detail through this research. All right, and with that, if you have any questions. <laughs> So are you following these undergraduates through their time at UCSB to see their persistence in the major and like maybe how they do an introductory, other introductory engineering courses compared to other freshmen who didn't have an experience like this? So we are starting to do that this year. So this was a pilot study that we conducted last year and we didn't collect quite as much data. We just had those open-ended questionnaires. Yeah. So this year with the group, I've interviewed a lot of the students in the class and I'll be doing that before and after the class. And then we have survey data, and we will be following up to see if they're continuing in the program. And we also have information related to other classes they've taken, other work they do, so we can control for that in looking for possible impacts from the class. Yeah. Any other questions? Yes. Um, in the context of what you said about leader classes, oftentimes uh, freshmen, especially if they're in demand in majors such as biology or bioengineering, a lot of classes in the very beginning biology, chemistry, physics, and math all in one year. And yeah. How would you see this course being able to fit these so-called reader classes and being able to um, So this class is a mandatory class in the mechanical engineering department, a first year class. So it's not any more of a time commitment than the other classes. Um, it still fits within their hours. Um, but it's, it's nice in that it's designed to ensure that the students are successful, but not by making it easier, but just by having those supports in place and giving them that opportunity to kind of step into a, an authentic role as an engineer. Um, so I think it might be a nice way to contrast with the other classes that, like you say, they have to take. I went through the engineering program as well, so, so I understand that you can't take those classes out, but I think it's important to build in um, supports for the students when you can. Yes. How did that work with planning the timing where the undergraduate students could actually interface with their customers in elementary? So what we do with that is there are three design team meetings throughout the quarter. So they meet with them at the beginning of the quarter and they come up with their plans and they do the engineering sketches together. Do an update and then they do the final meeting where they give their parts and then they do the final dance show. And we have in the teams of undergraduates, which are each made up of four to five students, one to two representatives that meet directly with the elementary students, and then they report back to their group. So not everyone will have a schedule that accommodates it, but they make sure that someone can meet with them. Yeah. Any other questions? Great. Thank you.